guys it is tuesday yes i'm brushing my eyebrows out with a mascara wand that's what my life has come to i don't have health law anymore because it's over you know finals woohoo uh i have a dentist appointment this morning again uh yesterday i had a dentist appointment but it was just a cleaning and today i'm getting a cavity filled so that's at 10.45. I've spent the morning doing some laundry. I studied for PR only for 20 minutes. I always do the timing method. If you guys didn't watch me last year, what I do is I time how long I study for. I just put a timer on. I don't use a stopwatch. Like I don't have like a countdown going of when I need to stop. Just so I know how long I've studied for. And at the end of the day, I'll just like calculate it up and see like, oh, okay, I studied today for two hours for PR and an hour for health, whatever. And my goal is to study for PR today for two hours. So after my dentist appointment, I'm not sure if I'm just going to go to school or if I'm going to come home for a little while because I do have PR today. Usually I just have that on Monday, Wednesday, but today we're following a Wednesday schedule. I don't have any other classes though. The only class I have is PR. So it was kind of like, am I even going to go? Um, I know like so many people aren't going to go. I might go. I'm still undecided. I also really, really, really need to film my gift guide. But I'm not going to be able to do that today. Because by the time, well, when I get done with the dentist, my mouth is going to be numb. So I can't film a video like that. But I just wanted to start the vlog. Um... Uh, what time is it? 9.35. So I have about an hour until I leave. And I don't know if I'm going to study some more for PR. Oh, studying for PR is so annoying. Because there's no... Like, there are rules, but our test is multiple choice. And it's just all hypos. I believe it's 60 questions. And it's just all hypothetical multiple choice questions. What I would usually do is just take a million practice tests. Because our professor posts his old exams online. But I really have to study first. Because I actually don't know anything about professional responsibility. Because I didn't pay attention all semester. So I'm just basically re... Like starting from scratch. But I'm doing pretty well after studying. Anyways, I'm just rambling now, so I'm going to go do some laundry, figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of my morning before I go to the dentist, and I'll update you later. And I'm back. My car is so loud right now. Um, I'm sitting outside Starbucks. I ordered on my phone because I didn't want to talk when my uh, lift is non-functioning. So I ordered on the app. And I'm just waiting for it to be done, and then I have to go to the bank, and then I'm going to school, and a car, on a car, a bird just pooped all over my windshield, which is really fabulous. It's, like, everywhere, so, yeah. That's all I really had to say, so I'll update you later. Hello guys, I'm leaving school now. It's almost five. I studied for however many hours I was at school I studied. I know for sure it was at least one full hour with my timer and I did spend like another hour doing random stuff on my computer, but I studied a lot. Oh, and I studied another hour for health. So I studied a lot today. Um, I went to PR and I was taking all these notes and then after like 20 minutes of notes he was like okay and just so you all know everything I taught today won't be on the final I was like are you kidding me and he's like well I couldn't tell you that in the beginning or else you'd all leave and I'm like that's true that's true so then it was time for people to ask questions and oh my god you guys I almost flipped out because the questions people were asking it's it just so obvious that they haven't even cracked a book yet. And our professor posts all of his old exams online. Everyone who's ever had this professor at the school knows that all his tests are basically the same. And you either know this because you had him in your first year for a different class or like you just heard it. Like everyone knows this. It's 60 multiple choice. Questions are the same. Like that's it. They're all online and whatever. It was so obvious from all the questions people were asking that they haven't even looked at it. I'm like, 
dude, you're supposed to be asking questions about like material things, not like how many questions are on the test, because it's all online. I had to, I left a half an hour early because I was about to flip out. I was about to like raise my hand and be like, hello, can you people just go online? Like seriously, the dumbest questions I've ever heard in my life. And you know, people say there's no such thing as a dumb question. There is, there really is such a thing. Oh my God, I was gonna, I was literally gonna scream. I had to leave. But now I'm going home, I'm so hungry. And I'm gonna go home and eat dinner and then I'm going to have a relaxing night because tomorrow I have a meeting with a professor at my school to prepare for this interview that I have tomorrow on Thursday. So she's gonna kind of like coach me, like do a pretend interview because apparently it's a hard interview. If you watch my other vlog, I talked about it. But I'm gonna go now, call Jesse. I'm gonna tell him all the stuff I just told you guys. And I'll see you when I get home. It is now like eight o'clock. Clearly, this is going to be a two day vlog. I got home, ate dinner, which was pasta, and it was so good, but my stomach really hurts now, probably because I didn't really eat a lot today. I just, there's two types of stress, and I am both of them. It just depends on, I don't, I don't know why. Sometimes I'm the stress person that eats. I'm a stress eater, so I'm eating all the time when I'm stressed, and sometimes I'm a stressed not eater, where I'm just not hungry. And this past week or so, I've been like a non-hungry, stressed, and I like really won't eat a lot during the day, but I'll have a big dinner like tonight. But we just have a lovely peach, a lovely Christmas tree, and I think I'm literally getting in bed right now. I'm turning the light off, so I guess I am getting in bed, but I'm going to get in bed and watch house okay as i was saying my camera just started to not react to the light did i say that i edited a video i don't know i edited a video but now i'm gonna watch house uh i've been watching clips on youtube i used to watch house when i was younger uh and i was just watching clips on youtube and it's such a good show so i'm gonna start watching it on amazon because it's free on amazon prime so I'm going to watch that and I will probably talk to you guys tomorrow because I'm tired and I want to go to bed. So see you tomorrow. Good morning guys. It is the next day. It is Wednesday. I just finished filming my holiday gift guide which I'm going to assume is up before this video. Oh my god that took forever. That took so long to film. But it's now 10 o'clock. I have a meeting at 1.30 with a professor, like I told you in like eight other vlogs. So um, I have to be at school by 1.30. I also have to go to the mall before then and get slacks. Oh my God, I've been talking about this for like freaking years, I feel like. I need skinny, long slacks. Or even honestly at this point, just boot cut because I can't wear really loose ones tomorrow and I just don't feel like wearing capris because it's going to be like 30 degrees tomorrow. I figured I'd start the vlog because I didn't feel myself getting ready this morning because that was also an ordeal. I did my entire makeup. I did all this eyeshadow and then I hated it. It was just like way too much makeup. So I took it all off and redid it. I've been literally sitting here doing my makeup and talking for like three hours. So I need to stop talking for... A good while okay I just put jeans on and my shoes so these are the new boots that I got from Lord and Taylor they're so cute because they're like really tight but at the same time they're really tight you know what I mean like ugh, I don't know they're so cute I love them but I don't know why I didn't think they were expensive because they were like hundred and fifty dollars and then I went on Lord and Taylor last night to link them for a video and they were on clearance for $50. So I wanted to like return mine and buy them for $50 to save $100 but of course they're like sold out of every freaking size and I don't even know if I want to keep them because they're kind of tight on my toe area but also right now I have a really big blister on my the back of my heel from those heels that I wore to my competition so I don't really know maybe it's like maybe it's the blister that's like really making this not work but I just wanted to show you the outfit with these shoes on because I think I'm going to change into different shoes now because these just hurt Ugh, and I really like them but I just don't know
Okay, I just got at the mall. I went into Express and Express only, and I got their barely boot cut pants that I didn't try on. I did try on two other pairs. I tried on the skinny ones, and they were nice, but I feel like they're too tight for like the interview that I'm going to because it's like a business. Uh, I mean, it's like you know a really professional interview, not like no fashion is allowed <laughs> so i didn't want to get those and then the other one i tried on was called the columnist and they were fit through the thigh and then like after the thigh they were just like loose and they made me look so bad and then right before i checked out i found these which i saw online so i just got these without trying them on but i'm sure they'll look good i really just wanted to try it on for sizing i also got to use my reusable straw now i've been using my reusable straws in the morning for my coffee but this is the first time i got to use it like in a to-go cup but they put so much vanilla in here so sweet but i'm gonna go to school now i'm just like sitting here for no reason i feel very restricted in this coat scarf these jeans Ugh, just very uncomfortable right now but I'm going to go, and I'll see you later. I hit the parking lottery because today there was this huge event at my school. Like, 200 people were supposed to be here for some, like, you know, some law-related thing. And there was going to be no parking, but I must have arrived at their little lunchtime because they're all leaving, and I'm stealing one of their spots. So I didn't have to park a mile away. I also had to stop at Starbucks and get just iced coffee unsweetened because that drink that I got at the mall, I can't drink it. It's like sugar water. That's what it tastes like. And it's really grossing me out. So I got this, which just tastes like coffee. And that's what I need right now. Caffeine. So I'm going to go to the library and get cracking on this because, uh, Wednesday so my professional responsibility test is in a week from today and my health law is in six days so it's um crunch time is my hair messed up nope all right I'll see you later okay guys I just got home from school I spent like an hour, actually an hour and four minutes of studying for health. And then I had my meeting and the meeting was good. She just kind of like told me like what kind of questions to be prepared, be prepared to answer. And then I came home and it's around like 2.30 right now. So I'm probably gonna go eat something and then edit a video and then study some more for either health or PR. I for stuff from $20 up to like $2.50. That video and the corresponding blog post took me so long to edit, guys. So we're going to do some retail therapy. I got a package in the mail from Aloe Yoga. This is a nice receipt. I got the high-waist goddess leggings with the pink bottoms. And the bottoms are essentially like leg warmer-like material. And the top are just regular leggings, but they're really thick. Wow. I'm really excited about these because they give me a lot of ballet vibes. And I actually used to do ballet, which is why I ordered those, just because they made me um, reminisce. So I can't try them on right now because I can't move. But I'm just looking up some stuff about my interview tomorrow. And then, I don't know. It's like 4 30. It's not even, I'm not even tired. I don't even know what I am, but I'm just like, blah. Sorry, this vlog probably sucks, but uh, right now my life kind of sucks, right? Finals. Law school vlogmas is like really depressing compared to everyone else's vlogmas. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Okay guys, it's been a while since we spoke. I 
I have to turn off this PS4. That's what I have to do. I didn't study or do anything school related. Well, I prepared a lot for my interview, but I didn't study. So I only did one hour of studying today and I should have done four. So that's good. It's a good thing that my first two finals are really easy. They're not gonna be like really hard because I'm not really studying that much, but I'll make up for it tomorrow. But I was preparing for my interview, which I feel is arguably more important. And then I just took a shower and put some laundry away. Um, now I'm watching Christina Brawley's Vlogmas. I love her Vlogmas every year. She's a doctor, if you don't know. I'm watching her Vlogmas. Um, in a little while, I'll try on my outfit for tomorrow. Make sure the pants are fine. I mean, I know the top and the blazer are fine because I'm wearing what I wore to my argument. Someone left a comment saying that I'm so rude to you and I look like I'm annoyed by your presence. What do you think about that? And you said that you like my sass, so you have to take that into account. What do you think about that comment? The well, camera's dying. You only have... From a third-person <laughs> point of view, I can see where she's coming from. But I know how you really are. And? and most people don't. And really, what no am, one knows besides What me. am I like? That's just you. An you're asshole? Sass. Oh. No, you're sass. <laughs> I call you sass, but it's really ass. <laughs> I put Peach up on top of the towel. And by the way, you found my hidden towel, and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> That's my hidden towel. It wasn't really hidden. You just had it on the shelf, and it was wet. So would you leave it to mold over up there? Yes. Well, I use it every day. And you leave it up there to mold over, well, you freak? Well, because if I don't, then you'll touch it. And then you use it for your hair, and then it's soaking wet, and, like, it smells. Yeah. It smells good. No, I feel just like whatever is in your hair just soaking into my pores. She's eating her pile, slowly but surely. This is dinner, and that's dessert. And cats, if you give them one little piece of kibble at a time, they think it's a treat. Cat lessons from yeah. Jesse. Cat lessons, cat 101.